tax attorneys take, how to use your IRA or 401k to start a business legally. Hi, this is Adam Bergman, IRA Financial. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment or question if you wish. Also, don't forget to click the bell below to receive automatic notifications of new videos. So in general, there are a couple rules you need to keep in mind if you want to use your IRA or 401k to start a business. If you want to be actively involved in the business, then you basically have two options. You can use the 401k loan feature, assuming you're going to set up your own business. You have the opportunity to then adopt a 401k or a solo 401k if you'll have no full-time employees. And then you can roll your pre-tax IRA or 401k funds tax-free into the new plan and borrow $50,000 or 50% of your account value, whatever's less, and use that to fund your business. And it's a five-year loan, payback at least quarterly, at an interest rate of at least 3.25%. So it's a great way to get tax-free, penalty-free use of the funds and use it to start your business. Now, if you need more than $50,000 and you're gonna be actively involved in the business, the only other way to do it is through the ROBS, or Rollover Business Startup Solution, which is the only legal way you can use IRA or 401k to fund the business. The way the ROBS works is it takes advantage of an exception in the tax code under Internal Revenue Code Section 4975D13 that allows a 401k to purchase qualifying employer securities or C-Corp stock. So in essence, the way it works is you create a new C-Corp, C-Corp adopts a 401k, you roll your pre-tax IRA or 401k funds tax-free into the new plan, the 401k buys corporate stock known as qualified employer securities, and then the C-Corp has the necessary funds to start or finance a business. Best of all, you can be an employee of the business, earn a salary, and have the use of your IRA or 401k tax-free and penalty-free to invest in the business. Thirdly, if you want to invest in a business and you will not be actively involved, then the self-directed IRA could be a really good solution. But remember, the key is you cannot be actively or personally involved in the business. It must be a passive investment because if you are actively involved in the business, as an employee, using a self-directed IRA to invest in that business could trigger a prohibited transaction in various circumstances. So that is the key to determine whether you should use the 401k loan feature, the ROB structure if you need more than the 50k, or if you're going to be doing an investment passively, then possibly the self-directed IRA as the ways to legally use your IRA or 401k to invest in a business.